Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Drone Wars. Here in front of us, we can see the board. And of course, you can see the Pirate Empire is definitely winning by a lot. The Federation doesn't have any more shipyards at the moment. However, if they expand, they have a chance of being able to build up a new shipyard, and hopefully they might be able to find a way to counter the Pirate Empire. Of course, the Federation is making an effort to expand on the bottom right corner of the map. It seems like the top of the map is almost completely lost at this point. But there are still chances that things could completely turn around in the Federation's favor. So we're going to go ahead and see if any of that happens in this episode. Alright. So it doesn't look like there's too many straightforward battles here. There's mostly just expansions from both factions. So of course the Federation, for their first action, they've actually taken one of their oldest fleets, a fleet number 13. Have they, they've sent it down here to fleet number 22, and that fleet ended up dying instantly without doing any damage, so uh, we're just limiting that from the video because it wasn't really much. Um, then the second thing they've done is that they've gone ahead and moved uh, their fleet that was over here in the Trident Snowfields over here to KL-136, and the fleet that was on KL-136, they decided to move over here to the Trident Mountains to take that over, and uh, that turned into a fortress world. So while the, uh, while the Pirate Empire no longer has their shipyard there, now there's a little fortress world there to protect that uh, planet and hopefully keep it within Federation control. And unfortunately that's all the Federation's actions, mostly just moving fleets around. So you can see that's pretty much all the territory that the Federation has. There's one planet down there and there's those two up there. Not too much the Federation can do. But of course the pirates have other ideas. So the pirates, they don't want this, uh, this fleet over here to escape. So what they're doing is that they've moved their fleet that was here all the way up here to basically corner the Federation fleet here. That means they're either going to have to move to the right or to the left. Or down. But no matter which way they go, they're pretty much cornered. Then the next action the Federation carried out was that they've taken their fleet that was down here at uh, Lithios and they've moved it up here to the, uh, to the alien grasslands. So, you know, just taking a little more territory from the Federation over here. They're trying to focus up here and preventing it from expanding upwards. And of course, the final action of the Pirate Empire is of course going to be a battle. They've, take, they've taken their uh, Fleet 25 here. Let me actually grab that. They're taking it from the Moon Fields and then they're taking it over here to the Moon Ice Hills. Right over here. So we're just going to go over there and see if they can take out this Federation Fortress world. With that, that should be the last battle in this video. Alright, here we are. So here's this battle with the Powered Empire. They have two battleships and they have about 12 fighters in the back here four of them coming from one of their battleships. And right over here, we have the enemy fortress, the Federation's uh, fortress on this planet. We're just gonna go ahead and see if they have the firepower to take out this fortress, or if the fortress will take out one of the ships. Alright, there's more torpedoes on their way. There should be fighters coming in as well. Definitely looks like a direct hit. That was a direct hit. Pretty clean one too, it took out a pretty big chunk there. But that ship isn't going to give up. All these defenses just have to do whatever they can to take out those fighters. While well, the main gun focuses on that battleship. There's already a lot of missiles coming in from these fighters. Seems like some of them are falling down though.
We just have to hope they can do enough damage to keep all these uh, ships away. There's more torpedoes coming in. Like the main gun and the missiles have already been defeated here. Just to up to those secondary turrets to do whatever they can against these uh, fighters here. And that battleship is getting closer. I don't know if the fortress is going to last long with those battleships approaching. It's definitely done a lot of damage to prevent all these missiles and fighters from getting in close. You see, there's still plenty of fighters going out and about firing all their missiles at this fortress. Shields in that battleship are holding, and it's doing plenty of damage to the fortress. A lot of those weapons are taking some pretty heavy hits. There's only a few left, and they're doing whatever they can to take out these fighters. And that's all they can really hope to do at this rate. If they take down enough of them, then their number will go down in the next uh, battle, to include his fleet. That's only if they take out enough of them. Yep, seems like all the weapons have been disabled. All that's left is just to see how many fighters are still left. Yeah, there's still plenty of fighters, so it looks like this fleet hasn't lost that much. So that's just a clear victory for the Pirate Empire. Alright, looking at the board after this battle, we can see very clearly that the Pirate Empire is still expanding. The Federation is losing a lot of land, but they're trying to gain more land up there as they're trying to escape from the Pirates. Seems like everywhere they go, the pirates are just going to corner them. Probably in the top right corner is where the last few battles might end up if this keeps on going. Although, what might happen is that a fleet in the lower right corner might be trying to separate from the rest of the Federation. So the Federation is playing it kind of smart with making sure they have multiple areas to go to away from the pirates. But uh, if the Federation doesn't end up getting a shipyard soon, they will be wiped out and the pirates will end up winning the entire series here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you guys are interested in joining Season 2, we have a Discord link in the description. There are only a few spots left for the uh, for joining Season 2. Uh, without further... yeah. I guess that's just about the end of the video. I hope you all have a great day and take care.